It's college football on ESPN2 from Louisville, Kentucky, as the number 18 Cardinals host their cross-state rivals, the University of Kentucky Wildcats. Very talented quarterback, 39 now for Kentucky. Under pressure, little slip screen to Ernest Sims, and he is gone to 30, to 20. Nobody's going to touch him. Touchdown, University of Kentucky, 64 yards on the play. This Cardinal defense to hold him to a field goal. Pitch outside the pinner, and he's looking for pay dirt. Untouched. Touchdown, Wildcats. Love the misdirection. That's a tough quarterback. He has been Braveheart tonight. Scramble left in the backside. Pressure hit as he throws. And Ragone is down. Ball is incomplete. He's slow to get up. Jeremy Cottle with a hit. Number 68 has had a Zeke Parker and Branch, Deion Branch. It's going to be tough. Ragone scrambles out of the end zone. One last gasp. Throws a laser to the 40. Across midfield, and wait a second, it's not over. A lateral from Damian Dorsey, and finally, the tackle is made inside the 40 to about the 38, but it's over. Dave Ragone, a last gasp effort, and the Wildcat fans. The, the Kentucky 43. Woodson from the gun, play fake, step it up. He's throwing deep down the near sideline. He's got Johnson. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Kentucky! Wow! 13 is a lucky number! Stevie was on the sideline. Somehow he got behind the corner and just ran right down the sideline. Woodson found him and he broke a tackle at the five and walked into 67,000 outside for the moment there to honor the Wildcats of Kentucky, their quarterback, Andre Woodson. While inside, the playing of my old Kentucky home. We join in the celebration of 75 years of SEC football. This afternoon from Commonwealth Stadium, the undefeated Tigers of LSU come in 6-0 against the 17th ranked Kentucky. Play action, Woodson rolls out, he's got a man in his face, it's tipped, and caught for a touchdown. T.C. Drake, the second team tight end, first catch, first TD catch, obviously. New Orleans, high school teammate of Dickey Lyons, he goes out, Woodson pulls up the run, and he will score. He trails by 13. Andre Woodson into the end zone. Caught, touchdown. Easy, easy. Jacob Tanny, the tight end. So easy. Play fake. Flynn goes deep. Brandon LaFell intercepted. Javard Lindley. Seven yards away. I think I'd rather just go for it, but he knows him. I'll go with Les Miles. On the way. No, short. But it wasn't that short. Number 40 is the blocking back. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Wildcats. The wide receiver left and Johnson bottom of the screen. Woodson pumps once, hit from behind in the end zone. Diving catch, oh. alone. Steve Johnson. Flynn, Scott. I don't know. I don't think so. No way. Kentucky wins. section and enjoy it.
There were a bunch of them out there. A very festive atmosphere. Kentucky looking to snap that three-game losing streak. And this day's D.J. Swearinger for the Gamecocks on the kickoff return. And Swearinger going to be tied up. Kentucky program. He's in that backfield. Toll's in trouble. Slips a tackle. Picks up another one. Here he goes. End zone. Touchdown. Kentucky. After six quarters without a touchdown, Tolls does it himself. Tolls middle. Touchdown. Kentucky leads. C.J. Conrad with his first touchdown reception at Kentucky. The young man from the Grange, Ohio. In zone, touchdown, Dorian Baker. The ACC on ESPN. It's number 11, Louisville, playing host to crosstown rival, Kentucky. Hurry up, throw it around scheme to a run base scheme. Johnson under pressure. He wants to air it out on first down. Garrett Johnson. Touchdown, Kentucky, 75 yards. Williams. Inside the 20, the 10-5, boom, touchdown. What a burst. That's not pass interference, because that ball was in the stands. I don't disagree with you, though. This one is launched and caught by Johnson. Garrett Johnson, after a 75-yard touchdown, now has one of 63. Snap. And Snell has the first down and more. Touchdown, Kentucky. They also want to see the Heisman Trophy quarterback go to work. And he floats one out. It's picked. Underthrown. And Mike Edwards gets his second interception of the season. Johnson wants it all. Touchdown. Dorian Baker. Of all the easy balls that he has dropped, then he makes this catch. Radcliffe, who we saw get engaged to his girlfriend before the game. Jackson rifles it, tipped and intercepted. Blake McCain. Holy cow. McKinney pick up some extra yardage for the first down. He has a 100-yard receiving game. Jackson. Kept it himself, he fumbled the ball. Kentucky says they have it. Who's the strongest guy at the bottom of the pile? And no matter who gets the ball, this is going to be reviewed very close to whether Lamar Jackson was down or not. Kentucky got it. Seven yards to take the lead. 
and leave Louisville precious little time. He's come through in the clutch before. And he did it again. Are you kidding me? Best Stanford imitation. Yeah. Just start tossing it around. Jackson under pressure. Look how quick. Throws it a mile and a half, but defenders back there, and Kentucky has the ball as the clock goes to triple zero. What an upset. Head as Kentucky looks to snap that long losing streak to Florida. The Gators, now the 25th ranked team in the country, look to keep the longest streak going. We welcome you to SEC Saturday Night, presented by Holiday Inn Express. It has been 31 consecutive games for Florida, the longest active streak over any opponent. It has been 11,600. Wilson leaves the pocket, throws off his back foot, in zone! Touchdown! Kentucky, David Bouvier, a 29-yard touchdown reception. And on the flip fake, Terry Wilson's going to take it to the edge and in. Kentucky back in front on a 24-yard run by Terry Wilson. Play action. Wilson lets it go. Bowden gets deep. Got it! Touchdown! Kentucky, 54 yards to silence a crowd in the swamp. Especially second half, they came out looking deep early in the series. Frank's intercepted. It's Darius West, and Kentucky has the takeaway here in the fourth quarter with an 11-point lead. Three. Try to work the sideline here. Frank steps up. Here as he falls, it falls incomplete, and they catch a break. Four seconds left. Mark Stoops is saying it was a fumble. They have not whistled it dead, and they will get it down to the goal line. And now the line judge says, touchdown, Kentucky. Unbelievable. One year drought for Kentucky. Josh Allen. On the field of a fumble is confirmed. A touchdown was scored by Kentucky at the end of the play. Game is over. Kentucky fans can excel. Finally, the streak is dead. <laughs> oh, that poor horse. From Keeneland over to Kroger Field. You're watching the SEC on ESPN as we welcome you to ESPN College Football Primetime. Both unbeaten, Mississippi State and Kentucky with no less than 10 NFL draft prospects on the field tonight. We had some pushing and shoving already and some chatter from a couple of All-American candidates and Benny Snell and Jeffrey Simmons. They should get to know each other. 23-yard gain, first and goal. Snell, touchdown. Snap to Snell right here, possibly. Benny's got it. Benny pushing forward, and Benny is in. Touchdown, Kentucky. Third and 15. The double team on Allen. Buying some time. Turnover for Kentucky. Tyrell Another big play, Beth, on defense. First turnover for the Cats on the takeaway. And into the belly of Benny. Snell breaking free. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Kentucky. Fitzgerald will hand it off, and the Cats were in the backfield, led by Jordan Jones. And they appear to be short. 
The opposite thing happened here tonight. 182 yards rushing and Snell will to it. Unbelievable. Benny Snell is fourth touchdown of the night. But as they like to 65 yards. I'll tell you, Mississippi State is a very good team. This is a big win for Kentucky. Kentucky fans should be real happy about this one. 1977. That's the last time the Cats were 2-0 and and Seattle slew. Was your Kentucky Derby winner? Well, they're 2-0 and again in the league. Both of them. Welcome to Orlando, Florida and the VRBO Citrus Bowl featuring Kentucky and Penn State. It's the first game of 2019 and the last game of a memorable Kentucky season. This Wildcats team has a chance to cement their legacy as one of the best teams in program history. to the VRBO Citrus Bowl as part of Capital One Bowl Mania. Great matchup, Kentucky out of the SEC against Penn State from the Big Ten. Sanders to make sure he does not get home early, but a huge three and out by Kentucky. And a fake punt try. Kentucky was right there. Kentucky sniffed it out. Penn State snapped it short, and there was nowhere to go. What a big moment early for Mark Stoops' wow. team. Wow, wow, wow. Josh Allen just came back in this game. He'll try to rush the passer. He gets double teamed. McSorley, though, goes down. So they paid so much attention to Josh Allen that Cash Daniel, oh, the boy. linebacker, came through. And now from the end zone, the punt with Lynn Bowden near the midfield line backs up a little bit. He's got some room to return this one. And very dangerous in the open field. What a move. Bowden trying to get to that corner. He does to the 10. Touchdown. Good snap and hold, and that kick was tipped. Wobbly, no good. Wow. The special teams play on third and a yard near the goal line. Wilson hands it off. Snell. To the left side. Benny Snell, touchdown. Such a big part of their offense. Will that be limited now? Pressure picked up. McSorley looking downfield. Heaves it downfield. And what an interception. What an interception by Lonnie Johnson. And he's bringing it back along the far sideline. There's a penalty flag throw. McSorley got blocked. Maybe that's the penalty by Cash Daniel. I think Trace thought he had a touchdown there. Johnson was out there. And he's five yards away from the all-time Kentucky rushing record. The fans want him to get it. Here he goes. Benny Snell straight ahead. He's got the record and the touchdown. Here we go. McSorley throws short. They'll pitch it back, and the ball's on the turf. Kentucky falls out of the Wildcats. Maybe their best year ever. And a hard-earned ice bath and hug for their head coach and their star players who came to play today in Orlando. What a win for Kentucky over the 12th-ranked Nittany Lions. On the banks of the Tennessee River sits Neyland Stadium, home of the Vols, in a place where they have dominated this historic rivalry with the University of Kentucky. They haven't lost at home to the Cats since the mid-'80s. SEC Network football is presented by Allstate. In a series that dates back to 1893, Kentucky's looking for its first win in Neyland Stadium since 1984. Seal him off, just at least getting his way. Oh, boy. Ball came out. Kentucky says they took it back. And did we see a signal yet? Kentucky football as Tennessee. Like they did last week. You saw Kennedy, the center, pointing out to Jamin Davis right before the snap. Garantano to the edge. Picked up! Intercepted by Kentucky in a free run. Lots of green for Kelvin Joseph. 
His second pick in his many games. And a pick six puts the Cats in. A first down. Garantano intercepted again. Jamin Davis finds the sideline. Nobody's going to catch him unless it's Garantano. And he's got blockers in front. Davis will stumble into the end zone. A 75-yard interception return. Second down, 21 for J.T. Shrout. First pass attempt. Pulls it back, lets it go, and that is intercepted again. Kentucky's got another takeaway. Tyrell Asian came away with that one. Kentucky's defense has 10 takeaways in the last six. Balance to the left. Or at least a tackle on that side. Wilson going to throw. Man coverage. Caught. Touchdown, Kentucky. Allen Daly with a shove of Bryce Thompson to get a little bit of room. And that's all. Drake Jackson, the center, pointing out the changes. Rodriguez again. And he slides in for a Kentucky touchdown. Two-yard plunge for Chris Rodriguez. Here last week, and they do it. Almost the same way today. Three first half interceptions, two pick sixes, and four takeaways in the first half. Mark Stoops ends another skid for Kentucky. They win here for the first time in 18 tries. First win since 1980. Watching the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl as part of Capital One Bowl Mania. TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville, the site. NC State can cap its third nine win season in four years. Kentucky making its fifth straight bowl appearance, a streak that started in the Gator Bowl back in 2000. 225 pounds. Against a four man rush, Hockman with time. Downfield intercepted. It's Brandon Eccles. And Eccles slides down in to NC State. Percent of the time, almost a quarter of the possession's empty. But not this one. Rodriguez in for the first touchdown of this Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. And that wobbler doesn't get there. I don't know, was that tipped? I think it was partially blocked here. You had some penetration if we take a look. Bailey Hockman to throw from his own 13-yard line. Downfield into coverage. Intercepted by Yusuf Corker. As part of that O-line unit. Bailey Hockman. Tipped and intercepted. Jamin Davis. The Kentucky defense steps up again. Third pick of the game. Be the new OC next season. Rodriguez, he can take this to El Dorado. One more kneel down, a well-deserved Gatorade bath for Mark Stoops. Three straight bowl wins. This season for Kentucky was defined by loss and adversity and unimaginable emotions and you hope these final moments can bring a smile to that team that locker room you're watching the SEC on ESPN Papa Chusen, Dan Orlovsky, Chris Button set for game time between Kentucky and Florida Blitz off the edge. Emory Jones, quarterback keeper. And now an early decision for Dan Mullen to make. Jaquez Jones brings a lot for this offense so far. Wide receiver screen. The first time Wondell Robinson's got his hands on the football. And he's a difference maker. Robinson breaking tackles. Let's go. Touchdown. Lost at least four more. Pascal through to make a tackle. Christian for 48. It's blocked. Kentucky makes a play on special teams. Now they're ripping off a return. 
78 yards, touchdown. Mark Graham on the return. There's the slant. Whittemore, the intended target, and it's knocked out of his hands. Henry Jones. It's tough. You got to be very, very clear with what you're saying. There's a four-man rush. He's going to fire one up the seam. That's intercepted. Picked up by J.J. Weaver. Did he lose the football on the way down? I think he did. There's a scramble for him. Who's got it? Kentucky still has the ball. Tyrell Agent comes away with the loose ball after it was... Rodriguez. for the Gators. Emory Jones into the end zone, broken up at the goal line by Jones. Kentucky will win it. All that's left is for Levis to take a knee, and that makes it official. The celebration is on in Lexington. today with how loud it was. What does a win mean for this program? Uh, there's no doubt they helped. Now see, this is what I'm talking about. We need Kroger Field like this every year. Citrus Bowl is part of Capital One Bowl Mania. Happy New Year from Camping World Stadium in Orlando, where Big Ten West champion Iowa, ranked 15th in the country, faces number 22, Kentucky, which finished in sole possession of second place in the SEC East. But today first. from the SEC, the Kentucky Wildcats who had an outstanding season for head coach Mark Stoops. They are seeking the fourth 10 win season ever in the second in the last four years. Another pass play. Levis looking, throwing, dumping it off. Rodriguez into the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky. Now it's third down and 26. Levis from the pocket got Robinson, and it's a first down. How do you live him open? Third catch of the day as they convert on third down and 26. Play action here. Petrus setting up, looking downfield, passes tip, and it's picked off at the 32-yard line. It's the Eric Jackson off the deflection, and Kentucky will have the ball inside the Iowa 35. Well, now he just got to throw the Hail Mary. Yep. Petrus will firing it into the end zone. There's a man down there, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Quentin Mosley. Nico Reganey was down there and was open for a moment. And it's a quarterback sneak, and Petrus fell down. He fumbled the ball, it looked like, as well. But it doesn't matter. Kentucky takes over on downs, and Iowa wastes an excellent position. And they will hand it off, and Kentucky's all over it. What a great play. It was Ripka and Tisdale. Team. Kentucky's got 10 on the line of scrimmage. And Gavin Williams hit in the backfield. Got back to the line of scrimmage, though, but he's short. It's fourth down at a yard. Tyrell Agent tripped down in 10. You just lost seven yards on the sack. Levis got Robinson. It's caught. He took a shot, but he hung out of the ball. Merriweather was there. Plenty of time for Kentucky if they want to run the ball. Four-man rush. Now a fifth comes in late. Throw downfield. Robinson's there. Caught inside the 30. Cuts it back. Oh, he hurt the defender. He's inside the five. Dies for the end zone. And down at the one-yard line. Wandale Robinson takes First and goal from the six. Robinson hit in the backfield, breaks a tackle. Robinson is into the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky in front. Iowa almost had him at the 10-yard line. But what have we said all game about Rodriguez? Always going forward, never backwards. 53 seconds. Petrus pressure coming off the edge. He's hit. Gets rid of the ball. A diving attempt at an interception. And he got it. 
DeAndre Square picks it off at the 25-yard line. Gonna win a wild one. Further review. The ruling on the field is confirmed. And it's just first down. Kentucky. With 48 seconds left and only one timeout for Iowa, Kentucky is a couple of knees away from ending this game and getting its 10th win. And you see Mark Stoops with the embrace with Yusuf there on the last drive of the season to try to win a game. But it's Kentucky as Will Levis takes a knee that wins it. And for the second time in four years, it's 10 victories for the Wildcats. And Chris Rodriguez, the Capital One player of the game, with his ninth 100-yard game this season. So much respect, too, between Mark Stoops, Kirk Ferentz, and he's in their division, and a 10-win season. Wow, what a year for Kentucky. What a ball game. And let's go down. To and here it is. It is indeed blue, as one would expect. What a job Mark Stoops has done with this program. Will Levis, the Penn State transfer, made some big plays in that final drive. Wandale Robinson, transfer from Nebraska with some big plays in that final possession is Kentucky. We welcome you to ESPN College Football Primetime, presented by Subway. It's the Dr. Pepper Championship Drive Game of the Week. As we say good evening everybody Joe Tesser out three running backs from the running back room tonight play action as Levis goes high but complete to Jordan Dingle and his big tight end is out to the 44 yard line. Second and seven Levis gets it complete to key. It's a good looking true freshman. He impressed him right away in spring as an 18 year old. Levis play action they go with the crosser to Upshaw. They have been utilizing the tight ends very well in this first quarter as territory. Rides the play action. Has plenty of time to crank it up and go downfield and into the end zone for a touchdown to the freshman Dane Key. Will Levis, how about that? yard touchdown to Keaters give themselves a nine-point lead Richardson pulls it oh and it's picked off and inside the 10-yard line is Jordan Wright what a play by Jordan Wright and all of a sudden Kentucky's in prime position inside the one-yard line Levis surges ahead and that's a Kentucky touchdown Raise your hands, Jordan Wright. He only raised one hand moments ago and made the incredible. ETN flanking him to the left on third and nine. Four man rush. Pressure came up the middle. He gets away from it. But he can't get away from that. That Kentucky front with Jordan Wright. And Jordan Wright, who had the one hand interception. Second and nine. Levis with time. Deflection and into the hands of Magwood. Tip drill success. First down attempt to tie the game. Good snap, good hold, driven through by the veteran who's top 10. Empty look for Richardson. Oh, that is danger! Oh my, Kedron Smith cuts inside and he's gonna pick six it in the swamp. Cat scratch fever Smith. And the Cats facing a third and five. Up a touchdown on Florida. They go inside and they get it with Magwood. Big play as he gets even more out to the 41-yard line. They're going for it. Richardson incomplete. Frazier's was the intended target. Carrington Valentine had coverage. And it is a turnover on downs. After it has been for Florida as the Kentucky defense has gotten to him. And now Smoke gets the edge. And with a blocker in front, Cavassier Smoke. For Florida. 
Richardson on fourth and six. Sprint right. Gotta have it. Doesn't get it. Not even close. Another turnover on downs for Billy Napier's team. Good snap, good hold, and a great drive from Matt Ruffalo, the senior from Ohio. All the glory under Spurrier, and then years later with Tebow and company, and now Kentucky, when they match up with Florida, three out of the last five. As that'll do it here in the swamp. And Stoops is Kentucky's all-time winningest coach, passing Bear Bryant. And Kentucky, for the first time since 1976-77, has back-to-back -back wins over the Gators. That's a good, solid road win against the team. Cats hope the home field and the home crowd will give them advantage tonight as Mark Stoops and company get ready on another primetime SEC showdown. Looks like you're going to rush four here, try to get some pressure. They brought a different four, and that brought pressure indeed, and a flag on the play. Carrington Valentine was one of a young quarterback then that's got to handle protections and sight adjusts. And against the blitz down the sideline, and it is caught. There's Dane Key, the freshman from right here at Lexington, out of Frederick Dulles. Rodgers incomplete. And a turnover on downs. Movement by State. The kick was good. Here comes pressure. Levis heaves it. Brown with a flag still hauled it in. And Levis is injured. Ooh. <laughs> Just snuck it in. And look at this huge hole. Here he goes. Chris Rodriguez tracked down inside the 10. Richardson finally got him. It's a 47 yards. And so Levis will throw. Touchdown, Rashawn Lewis. Big win on the recruiting trail for Mark Stoops, and here's Jatan McClain, and that's a big run on first down. Pick up a 15. Some plays on the catch and run. 15 tackles for Watson coming in hard. They got the Levis, but he got it away. And Jatan McClain takes a sidearm pass inside the 20. There's a flag back in midfield. Dingle now the fullback in the eye formation. Here's Rodriguez, and he finds a hole. And he is in a fantastic run for Rodriguez from 16 out. Real recognize real, they say. Levis has time, lets it go. Caught. The Cal Crowdis. And Kentucky knocking on the door again. 50 yard gain. Just the third catch of the season. Here's Rodriguez. Churning, moving, shoving. He's in. Seven yard run. Get it off. Rodgers over the middle. Intercepted. DeAndre Square with the pick with four minutes to play. Well, what a play by Square.
a demoralizing loss at Ole Miss that really was a, a penalty away from maybe going the other way. And then without Will Levis last week. Uh, two game losing streak is history for the Cats. But really looked like it was going to be a special season for Mississippi State. It still has promise undone by an offense that only put three points on the board in the first half and stymied once again for the second time in three years by this Brad White defense. They have won three consecutive and here comes Scott Satterfield and his Louisville Cardinals to an ovation of booze as you might expect here in Lexington. Series began back in 1912, but wasn't really renewed until 1994 after that 70 year hiatus. And since they've renewed it and started playing for the Governor's Cup, Kentucky leads the series 15 to 12. So pretty even, evenly matched series between these two teams. So glad you could join us today. Dave Neal, Deuce McAllister, Andrea Carter, and Deuce, when you begin to look at these rivalry games, of course, you played in a bunch up when you were at Ole Miss against Mississippi State in the Egg Bowl. What's it like as a player knowing you're wrapping up the regular season and, it's, and it, especially against your rival? Well, I think it's about going out there and finishing it. You want to finish on the right foot. You talked about Will Levis' matchup. Louisville also second in the country in turnovers gained at 28. Oh, wide open. Pass caught out over the 30 to the 40. It's a long run for Caddis. The freshman down the near sideline. Dropped inside the 15. Run by Josh Caddis. Levis to throw a little sidearm action. Touchdown, Dane Key. The true freshman from right here in Lexington with his sixth touchdown reception of the year from eight yards out. Need less than a yard. They will hand it off to Jordan, and he is stopped. They're going to spot him. Around the 13 and a half yard line. He needed to get it near the 12. Out of the eye formation. They'll fake it. Levis dumps it off underneath. Pass is caught there. Jordan Dingle. First and 15. Levis to throw over the middle. It is caught. Near the 45 yard line by Dane Key. Flavor. It's definitely on my list of things that bring me joy around the holidays. What if just an idea could become a family tradition? Some issues. Matt Ruffalo just 12 of 20. This from 43 yards. The kick is on the way and it is dead solid. Perfect. The execution was flawless. You hear the applause from the third down. Doman. Boy, just keeps backpedaling. Loose football. There is no whistle. Scooped up by the Cats. J.J. Weaver will have it at the seven-yard line. And that kick is up and good. The Ruffalo, two out of two. Pressure comes. Cunningham is dropped. Zion Childress, 3,100 yards. He's accounted for 120 touchdowns. He did not account for the blue wave coming right at him on the opening play of the third quarter. He has dropped a loss of nine. On the Bringing a couple extra bodies. Levis will throw underneath. Pass is caught. First down and a whole bunch more. Marion Brown. Dropped around the 31 yard line. That's a gain of 21. Ruffalo. He will split the pipes on that one. For a guy that came in 12 out of 20 in the field goal department. Touchdown late in the first half. The throw here. And that one is picked off. Intercepted by Kentucky's Trevin Wallace. Levis lofts it up to the corner, and Brown with the catch! Touchdown, Kentucky!
Doman keeps it nowhere to run, and he is dropped right at the line of scrimmage. Georgia, he is three out of three today, 43, 29, and 35. This from 40. I think it's all back together. Coach Mark Stoops, when we asked him about it yesterday or this week in our meetings, he said, man, Hand off to Rodriguez. Wow, just so much power. Beat NC State last weekend, 25-10. That one is high and picked off at the 20-yard line after a deflection. Jordan Lovett still on his feet to midfield and dropped at the 45 of Louisville. Lovett had his first interception. And that'll do it. The Cats will win for the seventh time in 2022. Both teams will finish up seven and five on the year as Coach Stoops will go shake hands with Coach Satterfield. And they will now wait a week to figure out where their bowl assignment will place them.